uh, uh, counterintelligence. So this is this is really working with uh, um, the attack community in a different way. So I'm an ethical person. I work with uh, um, corporate clients or or other types of clients, all based in the United States. And so I I my job is to find out information that can help them right, in better ways. And so um, this entails a little bit of, of really interesting stuff, and we'll get into that here. Um, last, a couple weeks ago, I saw this silly <coughs> slide. There's several examples of it. It's just, you remember 10 years ago, for you guys that are my age or so, um, or gals, sisters? Um, you ever see that? It's just the silliest slide, and please never use it because it's a headache. All they're seeing, it's kind of like what Michael Howard said today, which is, uh, you know, all the customer sees is dollar signs. Don't use that silly slide. All right, let's get into intelligence. So uh, intelligence, uh, one of the first rules of intelligence is it's about conflict, okay? It's not about being right or wrong. It's not about... Uh, whose side is good, it's not about, it's really not even about who you interact with. So if your friends or the people that you uh, talk to on the internet um, happen to be in an IRC chat session and somebody comes in there and you're like, boom, I know that name, and you start communicating with them, it's not really a, not really a wrong thing to do in my perspective because that's a, that's a way of, of gathering information. Now, of course, on CERC or IRC networks, you know, there's, there's no way to know that that's that person, okay? You don't really know who you're talking to, but you can kind of feel it out and get an idea. But remember, um, intelligence is a gathering.